Today is Wednesday, April the 28th, 2010. What we're going to do here is, this is an old Fisher Model 70A amplifier. <coughs> I was around this amplifier when I was young, about 12 years old, and I loved it. I've had this one several years, got it off of eBay. And the attempt here is just to document how they actually perform. What we have is a pair of Tungsol 5881s, an old RCA 5V4, the 12AU7, and 12AT7 are uh, some vintage tubes. I'm not going to pull them out right now to find out. <coughs> but we have it. Uh, we have it all connected to an 8 ohm load right here. The input is terminated at 600 ohms to the input and we'll adjust the gain here as we as needed. Our test equipment this is our input AC line voltage 120 volts so we can keep that adjusted properly. Our test equipment is a pair of Tektronix SG505 oscillators so we can do total harmonic distortion plus noise and intermodulation distortion. Here we have the uh, distortion analyzer, an AA501 and a voltmeter. So there's a voltmeter built into here, but we'll have a separate voltmeter so we don't have to switch back and forth. The oscilloscope, where we can watch the waveform and a frequency meter right here so we can check our frequency accurately. We also uh, view it on another oscilloscope over here just for the fun of it. So we have a dual oscilloscopes watching the signal. First thing we're going to do is test it at one kilohertz. One kilohertz for maximum output. We'll watch it on our oscilloscope for clipping. <coughs> and we'll test it at uh, one percent when we get to one percent distortion here. Crank it up until we see it start to clip. We're up to 9.56 volts. That's 9.56 squared divided by 8. That's its power. That's 10 watts or so. Distortion's great. 0.1%. Let's get it up until it starts to clip. Whoops, there we go right there. Now we can go back down here to the distortion meter and set it at about 1%. There we go. One percent of a kilohertz. That's twelve point nine volts. So uh, twelve point nine squared divided by eight is twenty point eight watts. You can call it twenty one watts or twenty watts. So it's a twenty watt amplifier. <coughs> We've established that. Now, one of the things, it's 20, 20 watts at, at uh, 1 kilohertz. Just for satisfaction, we should uh, probably go down and test it at 20 hertz. There's our 20. We've got our oscilloscope over here. That's about 2%, so we got to back it down a little bit. Back it off. You can see the anomaly in the in the signal right here, causing the distortion. Back this down to one percent or thereabouts. Twelve point four four. Well, that's not bad. You can do the math yourself, so we won't take up so much time here. Twelve point four four squared divided by eight is its power output at at twenty hertz, twenty to twenty one. And if we can go to twenty kilohertz. go. There's our 20 kilohertz. And uh, it's maximum output there at 1%. It's going to be, there we go, about 11 volts. 11 squared divided by 8. And there's our nice little sine wave. Ooh, that doesn't look too good, does it? Uh, I wouldn't really want to hear that. 
you're going to see in these tests that uh, this amplifier doesn't do real well at high frequencies. It does really well at low frequencies, though. Okay, now <clears throat> for a good a good sanity check, we're going to go back to the kilohertz range and set our output voltage at eight volts. Eight squared divided by eight is eight. So we're running, we're testing it at eight watts, a good listing level. I think it's going to run you out of the room unless you're driving some really highly efficient speakers. But here we go. Now here's 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 some more valuable besides just an absolute maximum output at eight watts. That's eight eight point oh five squared divided by eight. So like I say, eight volts is eight watts cross eight ohms. Distortion point one six. Very good at two kilohertz and a nice sine wave. And down here at the sine wave on a a little fancier scope. Really looks good. Okay. Now we'll go to 20 hertz. We'll switch this oscillator to 20. Wait it builds up here. Same input voltage. We're not changing the input voltage. 20 hertz. Nice sine wave. No anomalies that I can see. Distortion. Incredible. 0.07% THD plus N. Still at 8 volts. So our power response is very good too. Let's just see where it falls apart. 20. We'll watch the oscilloscope. 15 hertz. 15. 0 0.06 at 8 watts. 8 volts across 8 ohms is 8 watts. 15 hertz does really good at the low frequencies. Low as this oscillator will go is 10. Oh, it's, it's coming in. Well, it's kind of coming in glued there. <coughs> There's 10. No, it's not either. It's that in. There's 10. That is a slow sine wave. Power response still excellent. Still got eight watts. Same input at less than one percent distortion. At Ten hertz. Now that's pretty good for a for an, almost a, probably a sixty-year-old amplifier. Ten hertz. Now where this amplifier does not perform so well is let's go up to there's a kilohertz. Let's go up to ten kilohertz. Okay, there we go at ten. See, it's already dropped off. If we start going back down, say there we're at 4 kilohertz again. Oops, that's 4E, not 4, sorry. My apologies, there we are, 4 kilohertz. 4. Uh, there's our nice sine wave. There we are at 8 watts. 0.3% distortion, still doing really good. As we start going up in frequency. I'm trying to back off so we can see the whole thing climbing. 4 kilohertz. 5, 6, 7, up to 10. See the power, the power is dropping. The distortion is not bad. We're up to almost 10 kilohertz. Now we're going to have to go to 10 and then we'll go to, we'll start even higher. There we are, our 10 kilohertz again. Half percent distortion. Our power is starting to drop. Again, let's see if we can watch all of them at the same time here. Let's go up to just creep it on up to 15. Our power is not bad. Our power is dropped 0.2 percent. 17 kilohertz. 0.1% down to almost 7 volts. 20 kilohertz, dropping off pretty fast. Twenty-five kilohertz. Now we've we've dropped considerably in power. Our distortion's still not bad. There's like twenty-five kilohertz. You see our power is dropping pretty rapidly. And we'll stop at thirty. We'll go all the way to thirty kilohertz. 
0.4 percent, 0.27. We're way down in power, 4.3 volts. We're way past the uh, 3 dB point at uh, 30 kilohertz. There's our sine wave. Looks okay. 0.2 percent. So we started out at 8 watts. We've seen a power response and a frequency response of an old 19. 60s. I think they were made beginning in maybe 1959. I was familiar with it in 1962. Loved it. Still think it sounds great. Just documenting the old, the old equipment and its beauty and, and the fact that it still works so well. Hope you enjoy.